There's an interesting uh, quote from Popery, Puseism, and Jesuitism. At what then do the Jesuits aim? According to them, they only seek the greater glory of God, but if you examine the facts, you will find that they aim at universal dominion alone. You see, Rome had lost universal dominion, and the Protestant Reformation had been a major problem in this issue. A major problem. They have rendered themselves indispensable to the Pope, who without them could not exist, because Catholicism is identified with them. They have rendered them indispens themselves indispensable to governors and hold revolutions in their hands. And in this way, either under one name or another, it is they who rule the world. You see, the papacy has crowned itself ruler of the entire world. The Pope is the ruler of the entire world. That's the Holy Roman Empire spread over the entire planet. Well, if we have a look at a century of revolutions starting from 1750 to 1850, we'll see the American Revolution in 1776. And we can ask the presidents that then ruled who do they think was resp were responsible for this revolution. Then there's the French Revolution, 1789, the Spanish Revolution, 1823, the Polish Revolution, 1831, the German and the Italian Revolution, 1848. By 1917, you had the Russian Revolution, and then basically it was time for war, 1914 to 1918 which made the Russian Revolution, by the way, possible, and World War II, 1939 to 1945. That's a lot of conflict on this planet. How much blood did not flow on this planet as a consequence of these revolutions? And why? Because one power wanted absolute control. And the Bible says the dragon gave it its power so that everybody should be subject to that power and to none other. Well, let's have a look at a brief chronology here. In 1717, we're dealing with this time period of terrible, terrible conflagration on this planet. The Masonic Grand Lodge of England was founded. 1721, the first Masonic Lodge was founded in France. 1731, Benjamin Franklin was initiated as a Freemason. 1738, the Roman Catholic Church condemns Freemasons. By 1758, Sir Francis Dashwood found the Hellfire Club. Benjamin Franklin visits England to discuss the future of American colonies with Dashwood. 1768, foundation of the right of strict observance. That's the 33 degree level of Freemasonry by Baron von Hunt, based on the Templar tradition. So that's an interesting point. And then Frederick of Prussia, Frederick the Great, I don't know what was so great about him, but nevertheless, founded the Order of the Architects of Africa and uses the title Illuminati to describe his Neo-Masonic lodges. So that's just a brief history as we're going along. 1770, Benjamin Franklin, was elected Grand Master of the Nine Sister Lodge in Paris. 1771, Grand Orient Masonry was founded in France. 1776, Order of the Perfectibilists or Illuminati was founded. Notice they call themselves perfect. The American Revolution starts. So by 1776, they had put everything in place. 1778, Peter I founded the Secret Circle. 1785, Grand Masonic Congress allegedly plotted the French Revolution. The Illuminati was banned in Bavaria, who went underground there. 1789, French Revolution. 1784, Illuminist conspiracy to overthrow the Habsburg monarchs of the Holy Roman Empire. So the monarchies must go. The monarchies were often opposed to uh, Jesuit rule, and they banned the Jesuits. Well, it was payback time. Nobody bans the power of the Roman Catholic Church.